It was a comfortable night aboard in our secluded anchorage. The sky is still overcast, but there's no rain. Two of the team decide to explore the surroundings and climb to the top of Kersop's Peak for better views of the park. It's an easy six kilometer return trip on a well-marked trail. In spite of the weather, the views from the top to the lighthouse on Southeast Point, to Waterloo Bay, and to the higher peaks in the park make for a rewarding trip. The following day, the low pressure weather system is still with us. The wind has increased from the southeast and there are now breaking waves at the entrance with more surge inside the cove. Whale song lifts anchor re-anchors deeper into the bay to temper the effects of the surge. There's also rain today, so the team remains on board, doing vessel maintenance and work on the research data. Sailors are aware that it is bad luck to commence a voyage on Friday. However, a Friday departure can be justified in many ways. We reasoned that we departed from Fremantle and at Refuge Cove was merely a continuation, not a departure. Use this logic with care. The day began with cloudy skies and occasional rain. The wind was light inside the cove, although there were waves breaking on both sides of the entrance. Whale Song motored cautiously out of the cove into southeast winds and set a course across Bass Strait to Gabo Island. The wind and seas only increased as Whale Song left Wilson's promontory behind. By the afternoon, Whale Song was experiencing a proper gale. Well, good morning. We've had a bit of an interesting night. Uh, for anybody that's wanted to experience a gale in Bass Strait, um, we can uh, show you some footage of it. It's better looking on TV or on your computer screen than it is in, uh, in real life. It's a pretty interesting experience. We've had 40 knots, uh, fairly steady, 35, 40 knots overnight. And the swell uh, is still probably around 6 meters uh, to 7. We've had uh, 8 meter uh, swells rolling us around overnight. Luckily, we're going pretty much with it right now, so the conditions are certainly doable. And uh, we'll get to our destination, Jarvis Bay, to, in about another day and a half. So uh, we're pretty pleased with progress, and we're just watching another big ship roll around behind us. I think we're doing better than he is. So, uh, yeah, interesting day in Bass Strait. So when we're at sea or underway, we almost go into a marathon mode of living, really. This is our life underway. Good seamanship involves taking care of everything on your vessel, from the big things to the small things, checking that lines are stowed away so they're not tripping hazards, to in the fridge, in the galley, to making sure that all of the food items within the galley are stowed. Whale Song left the Bass Strait oil and gas fields behind. Just before dusk, Gable Island is sighted. Near the Victoria, New South Wales border, Whale Song alters course to proceed north. The seas lessen, and we sight a large pod of common dolphins. During the night, Whale Song continues up the New South Wales coast. On Sunday morning, we sight Cape St. George and Point Perpendicular. By mid-morning, Whale Song enters the calm waters of Jervis Bay and soon after drops her anchor in the southern end of the bay. Calm envelops Whale Song after 48 hours of boisterous weather. The crew enjoy some time to relax. Mm -hmm. 